Sodium docusate, often just called docusate, is a laxative medication, and it's a laxative medication that is available over the counter in the UK, and I imagine in many other countries around the world. In the UK, you can buy it, in fact, on supermarket shelves. You don't even need to visit a chemist's. Now, docusate is a laxative that has received quite a bit of bad publicity. There was a study quite a famous study, well-known study now, that showed it was ineffective, no better than taking a placebo tablet in relieving constipation. However, despite that, in my clinical experience in the United Kingdom, this is still a laxative that is prescribed very commonly by clinicians who I respect very highly as very intelligent and experienced physicians. And generally, in my experience, it does work as a laxative. I prescribe this medication to people, not infrequently, and I watch it work to relieve constipation in these individuals. And it's a nice laxative for multiple reasons. One, because it's available in a nice tablet form, so it's easy to take. When you compare it to, for instance, the laxatives Macrogol or Ispagula husk, they're they come in sachets and they have to be dissolved in a beaker full of water and then the individual has to drink this uh, cup full of water that is usually flavoured with some artificial orangey flavour and will be all sort of gritty. It's not a pleasant experience to take those sort of laxatives, whereas sodium docusate is a nice simple little tablet that they just have to swallow. In addition, it's very gentle. It doesn't upset the gastrointestinal tract as much as some of the other ones. So often people can take sodium docusate and not get any sort of GI upset from it. So no sort of feelings of sickness, no uh, tummy pains, abdominal cramps, bloating, none of these sort of symptoms that other laxatives, especially things like macrogol, can cause when people take them. The one side effect that people can experience with docusate, if they're going to experience a side effect, the one they will get is mild nausea uh, after taking the drug. Now, usually this is something that gets better once your body gets used to the drug. So it might be the case that when you first take it um, and you've never taken it before in your life, then you might feel a bit sick for a few hours afterwards. The second time, you might also feel that. Uh, but then as you take it more and more, uh, usually that side effect goes completely. The GI tract gets desensitized to it and no longer uh, creates the nausea sensation when you take the drug. So after that initial nausea is wear worn off, usually docusate has no side effects for people and is an effective laxative, so it's a nice drug. It's taken at a dose of 200 milligrams twice daily, and tablets usually contain 100 milligrams, so you have to take two tablets twice daily. And as with all laxatives, it should be an as-required or as-needed medication. You ideally don't want people to be on regular laxatives, regular daily laxatives for the rest of their life. You want them to be taking them as required to relieve constipation. It can be co-prescribed with other laxatives, so it can be co-prescribed with Senna, it can be co-prescribed with Macrogol, Ispagula husk, Bisacodal, Lactulose. There's no interactions between them and Docusate, so if Docusate alone isn't relieving the constipation, then you could add in other laxatives, or if these laxatives aren't relieving the constipation on your, their own, then you could add in Docusate as an adjunctive treatment. And indeed, often that's the way we do it in clinical practice. Docusate isn't usually the first line laxative that we put people on. It's often actually the third line one. So in my experience, we generally use Senna as a first line and then we add on Macrogol so that they're on Senna and Macrogol. And then if that's not working, then we add in Docusate as the third line one. That's what we commonly do on my orthopedic ward. Laxatives are very important on orthopaedic wards because, of course, all these people have got broken bones and have, most of them just had surgery and are in considerable pain and we relieve the pain by giving them opiate medications, often morphine or oxycodone, and these are very constipating. They uh, decrease intestinal motility and therefore uh, lead to constipation. Uh, so it's very important to manage this with laxatives. So most of my patients are on regular Senna and Macrogol. And then if that's not 
solving the problem if they still haven't opened their bowels, let's say, for eight days, often we would give them an enema or a suppository, but we might also add in from the top end docusate as well. Laxatives work in different ways. So, for example, Senna and Bisacodal, they are stimulant laxatives. They work by actually stimulating the colon, the large bowel, to uh, increase motility. So they cause it to move more and therefore increase the speed at which stool is moved through the colon. Macrogol and lactulose, meanwhile, are what are called osmotic laxatives. You take them orally, uh, they go into the stomach, and they hold on to water. So they then move through the small intestine into the large intestine with a huge amount of water. So uh, imagine them holding on to a large volume of liquid, and this large volume of liquid then enters into the colon and is not absorbed in the colon, even though the colon is very good at absorbing water, because of the presence of the macrogol or the lactulose, that water cannot be absorbed and is hold on to in the lumen of the intestine. And this large volume of fluid is then entering the large bowel, and the sheer volume effect is then going to push along any stool in front of it in the colon. And it's also going to mix with the fluid behind it and be softened, and that's the mechanism by which they exert a laxative effect. Ispagula husk is a type of insoluble fibre, so it's similar to eating whole grain bread or whole grain rice, which contains a lot of insoluble fibre. It's still debated how insoluble fibre exerts a laxative effect. However, it's believed that it directly stimulates the um, colon, similar in a way to Senna and Bisacodal, but it's not classed as a stimulant laxative, it's Bagula husk. Um, so it's believed that insoluble fibre does stimulate colonic motility and therefore uh, help to uh, move stool along. So docusate, the topic of our video, how does it work? Well, it works in a different way to all of the five that we've just discussed. It is what is called a stool softener. So it's taken orally, it goes through the stomach, it isn't absorbed, it goes through the small bowel, it isn't absorbed, it gets into the colon, and again, it's not absorbed in the colon, so it remains within the luminal contents, the stool, uh, and it directly softens the stool so that it can be moved through the intestine more easily. This is why it's very gentle on the GI tract compared to other examples of laxatives. So the stimulant laxatives, Senna and Bisacodal, they're irritating the colon into increasing its motility. That can cause abdominal pain. It might even cause actual cramps of the colonic muscle, which would be quite severe abdominal pain if that happens. Uh, macrogol and lactulose, we talked about how they're bringing this huge volume of water into the colon. That can, you know, stretch the wall of the colon and cause like bloating sensations. Again, abdominal pain and bloating. So the effects of other laxatives can be unpleasant to endure, whereas docusate is very gentle. It just goes into the colon, directly softens the stool and makes it more easy for the colon to move it through. So overall, to summarise, docusate is a very well-tolerated laxative. The one main side effect is that when you initially take it for the first time, it might make you feel a little bit sick, but usually as you take it more and more, your body becomes desensitised to it and it doesn't then have any side effects. It's available over the counter in the UK and I suspect many other countries around the world. You can buy it in supermarkets, you don't even need to go to a chemist. And in my experience, it is an effective laxative. It is used in clinical practice, despite the huge amount of bad publicity that it's had in uh, medical studies recently.